and of your stomach if you'd like to feel some type of mind-body connection. As we feel the breath, as it moves in and out of our body, just start to tune inward and just simply notice what you're feeling right now in the moment. We want to start to slowly deepen our breath. Maybe hold at the top for a moment if you can before you slowly release the breath out. And take about two more deep, full breaths as we inhale and exhale through our nose. Release your hands and let's take one more full deep breath now as we start to create some movement in this space. So let's take our hands by our side, inhale, breathe our arms up overhead. Maybe our palms come to touch above our head and if you'd like to look up, maybe do a little bit of a back bend, you have that option. But take two breaths right here with our arms above our head. Slow and full inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. Maybe drop your shoulders a little bit away from your ears and lengthen that spine, grow one inch nice and tall. And then exhale, stretch and reach the arms, lowering them to the ground. Let's do that again. Inhale, reach our arms up overhead. And this time we're gonna add a twist to the right. So twist over to the right side and then lower your arms down. Maybe place the front arm on your knee, back arm reaching behind you to help deepen that twist. Take two breaths here. Unwinding back to center. Inhale, we reach our arms up. Exhale, this time we twist over to the left. Dropping our arms, front arm reaching for the knee back arm reaching behind us, using our arms as leverage to deepen that twist, and take two breaths here. Exhale, unwind, back to center. This time, let's breathe our arms up overhead. Our palms can be re um, facing in front of us, and then we're going to do a little bit of a forward fold tilting our torso and reaching our body towards the ground. Our arms reach in front of us. And then if you can, try and drop your head and neck. Release any tension in your upper back and upper body. And we'll take two breaths here. And then slowly rolling up, coming back to a long spine. Let's find tabletop position. So moving to our hands and our knees, we'll stack our shoulders right over our wrists, pressing our hands into the ground, stacking our hips right over our knees, and we'll take our cat and cow positions here. Drop your belly, inhale and look up to the sky for cow. Exhale, drop the hips, drop the chin, look down to the floor, arch your back, or reach your back up to the sky for cat. And take these two positions at your own pace, warming up the spine. Creating some warmth and movement in our torso. And then on your next exhale, let's come up to high knees. Um, hips step right over our knees and our hands can come to our hips. And your knees can be as wide as you'd like. The wider they are, you'll be a little bit more stable. And we're going to just take a couple of hip circles here, just moving our hips in a circular motion in one direction. And then reverse the direction. Feeling that space created in our low back, in our hips, our hip flexors. Excellent and we'll come back to center. This time we're gonna extend our right leg out to the side, have our toes facing away for us, a nice long leg here. And then inhale our right arm up to the sky. We're gonna tilt over to the side, away from our leg. 
you can either keep your hand on your hip as we reach our arm away from our leg, or if you'd like to go even deeper, maybe see if you can reach down towards the ground and feel a nice long line from our right toes all the way up to our right fingertips. Breathe into this nice deep side body stretch. And then we'll come back up through center, bring our leg back underneath us and take our left leg out long to the side. Toes facing away from us. Inhale our left arm up to the sky and then reach up before we reach over away from those left toes. Our right hand can stay on our hip right here or if you'd like to deepen the stretch, reach down towards the ground with that right arm. Breathe into this space. One more breath, and as you finish the breath, you can come back up through center, bring our leg back underneath us, and then we'll find tabletop to position just for a moment, and then we press our hips up to the sky, reaching for downward facing dog. Dropping our head, pushing, pressing through our shoulders, pressing through the L's in our hands, our hips reach up high to the sky, our knees and our ankles soften. Release and relax your neck here. And then pedal out the feet if you'd like to uh, make any movements here in this position. And then just simply slowly walk your feet up towards the top of the mat and slowly roll up once you reach the top of your mat, one vertebrae at a time. Once we're at the top, let's inhale, breathing our arms up overhead, and then exhale, forward fold. Reaching towards the ground, pressing our hands into the ground, we're gonna just step our left leg back to find a lunge position. Feel free to drop that back knee, so we're in a supported low lunge here. Make sure our front right knee is bent and going directly over the toes. Inhale, reaching our arms up overhead. Now feel this position, stretching maybe the left hip flexor. Squeeze those legs together so we can find stability in this position. You can stay right here, or if you'd like to take a little back, then you have that option, reaching up and over before we go back. Squeezing those legs, and then let's come back through center. Lower the arms back down lift the back heel so we're in a higher lunge right here. We're going to inhale our right arm to the sky, twisting over to the right, twisting to that front right bent knee. Reach your fingertips high to the sky, feel your shoulder blades back behind you, stretching and pulling together. One more breath here, and then exhale, lower that arm back down. Flip the back heel and come up to find warrior two position. I'll turn to the side so you can see me, but warrior two, our right leg is bent, our back left leg is straight, our back heel is per um, perpendicular to our front toes. Our arms are reaching out to the sides, maybe we look over those right front fingertips. Bend deeply in this position, the wider your legs are, the more challenging it'll be. And if you'd like to walk your legs in a little closer, um, it'll be a little easier for you this morning. All right, flip the front palm and let's reach back towards that back straight leg, finding peaceful warrior. Drop the shoulders away from your ears. Make sure we're still bending deeply in that front leg. And come back up through warrior two. And then simply straighten both legs and let's have both of our toes, we'll be facing the side, both of our toes facing right in front of us. So we're in a wide leg stance. I'll turn to the side so you can see me, but you can still face the side. So with our legs out wide, we're gonna have a forward fold right here, reaching towards the ground. You might be reaching towards the ground, you might not reach it. If you'd like to keep your hands on your hips, you have that option. But wherever we are, make sure our legs are nice and strong. We're pulling up through the kneecaps. We're sending our hips back. You might feel a nice deep stretch in your hamstrings here. Take one more moment, one more breath. And 
then if your hands are reaching towards the ground, bring them back up to your hips and slowly roll up. This time, we're gonna take our uh, toes out wide, so our toes are facing away from our body, and we're gonna take goddess pose. So we're gonna find a nice deep squat here, bending both of our knees evenly, the wider out our legs are, the more challenging this will be on our hips. So find your space that suits you today. But we're bending deeply, feeling the strength in our legs. While we're bending down, we're also reaching up through the crown of our head. Settle into this space. Try and make your breath soft. We're going to hold for one more breath in through the nose, out through the nose and then straighten the legs back up. Excellent. Let's cartwheel the arms towards the front of our mat, reaching them down towards the ground, find plank position, and then just simply press up to downward facing dog. Let's reset the breath here, finding our down dog. If you'd like to pedal the feet, do that. But really, let's press through the hands, relax the neck, and lift the hips up high to the sky. On our next inhale, let's look up to the top of the mat and slowly walk or jump to the top of your mat. Once you arrive, slowly rolling up one vertebrae at a time. Reset your breath. Do the same thing on the other side. Inhale, reaching up to the sky. Exhale, we forward fold. Plant the hands down, this time we step the right leg back behind us. You can drop that right back knee, finding our low lunge here. Squeeze those legs together, activate the core, and we'll inhale our arms up overhead. You can stay right here if you'd like to add an optional back bend. Feel free to take that. Coming back through center, reaching the arms down towards the ground. Let's lift up that back knee, and we'll take a twist to the left. So reaching the left arm high to the sky, keeping our hips square to the front, but reaching our left arm to the sky. Feel the shoulder blades and back activate behind us. Hold for one more breath. And then exhale, release that arm back down. We're going to flip our back heel, come up to find our warrior two position. Warrior two, our left leg is front and bent. Our back right leg is straight behind us. I'll turn to the side if you'd like to see me this way, but we're bending deeply through that front leg. Take one more moment here as we look over those left fingertips. And then we'll take Peaceful Warrior. Flip the left palm up to face the sky. And then we reach up overhead and maybe back towards that back leg. As we reach up and over, make sure we're still bending deeply through those, the front knee. Maybe look up at the hand. Hold for one more breath. And then slowly come back through Warrior Two position. And we'll straighten the leg. Flip both toes to be facing forward, and then we'll take our forward fold here with wide legs. So hands can be on the hips, or maybe our hands are reaching towards the ground, but we're finding that forward fold with wide legs. Breathe into this space. Activating the legs, pull up through the kneecaps. One more breath here, and then let's take our hands back to our hips as we come up. We'll flip our toes out to face out. We'll take our goddess pose one more time. So bending deeply through both legs, sitting down in that invisible chair. Weight is in the heels. Or maybe, if you want to try this time, maybe lifting up one heel. Try maybe lifting up the other heel. See how that feels. Maybe lifting up both heels. This will add an element of balance if you're feeling up to it today. Wherever we are, we're bending deeply, evenly through both legs. Just two more breaths here. Try and soften your breath in through the nose, out through the nose. 
finish your final breath, and then you can slowly release the legs, straighten both legs out. Good work. Let's cartwheel the arms towards the front of the mat, reaching towards the ground. We step our left leg back, we find our plank position, and then press our legs up to downward facing dog. Reset the breath here. And then we'll come find tabletop position. Just simply drop your knees here and we'll come find a seat on our mat. Really good work. All right, we're gonna do a little bit of core work before we end class. So I'll turn to the side so you can see me. But we're gonna take bow pose. So there's a few options with this position. Our legs are bent and in front of us. We're gonna shift our weight back so that we have a nice long and long flat spine behind us, but we're on the about the tip of our tailbone here. Our arms are reaching in front of us, thumbs facing up to the sky, and then from here you can maybe lift one or maybe both legs off the ground. You can keep them bent at this 90 degree angle here or maybe simply hovering off the ground. So find your space. There's a lot of options you can take here. Some easier than others, some more challenging. You can also straighten your legs here if you're feeling up to it. Wherever we are, let's take this position, reaching our arms in front of us, feeling that long and tall spine behind us. Let's hold for one more breath here. And then we're gonna start to lower to the ground, hovering one inch off the ground, our heels up, our neck up, and then release back down, all right? Let's just stay lying here on the ground. Maybe reach our arms up overhead. Find a nice full body stretch here. Stretching the toes away from the fingertips. Find your breath, maybe close your eyes. Soak in these next few moments. And then we'll take bow pose one more time. So coming back up. We're going to do that same uh, pose one more time. So legs in front of us, arms reaching in front of us. Shift your weight back to the tip of your tailbone, long, flat spine. And then take whatever option you like, maybe lifting one leg, maybe a different leg this time. You can alternate legs, or maybe take both legs up off the ground. Wherever we are, we're breathing. Feeling the work that we're putting in, knowing that it's only gonna last for a few more seconds. Before we release, let's hover a few inches off the ground. Straighten the legs, bring the back towards the ground. Hover for one more moment, and then allow the body to relax. Feel free to reach your arms up overhead. Take that full body stretch again. Make any movements that feel good right now. Wonderful. So staying on our back, let's bring both of our legs in towards the chest. Bringing our legs and making a ball with our body. We're going to take happy baby pose. So with maybe one or both heels, we're grabbing onto our heels. Our legs are and hips are out wide, our legs are bent. And as we're sitting here in happy baby, if you'd like to stay still or maybe rock from side to side, you have that option. Starting to slow our breath down. If you'd like to close your eyes, you can feel free to do that. Right, release the hands, maybe bring our legs into the body one more time for a nice squeeze. And then let's plant the heels on the ground. We're gonna cross our right leg over the left leg and we're gonna take our hands out to a T and we're gonna twist over to the left. We can look straight up to the sky 
or if you'd like to look away from your knees, look in the opposite direction to deepen that stretch. See how that feels. Coming back up through center, lowering our legs back in front of us on the ground, and then twist across our left leg over the right, our arms are still out to our sides. And then let's bring our knees over to the right, twisting to the right. Maybe we look over to the left this time. center, let's unwind. Take this opportunity to make any more movements that feel good to you. And then we'll take Shavasana. Our legs out long on the floor, our arms resting on the ground, maybe our palms facing up to the sky. And as we lay here, simply softening our eyes, closing our eyes, and allowing our body to fully relax and find stillness. Our body, take a few deep breaths here. Bring some movement back to your limbs, your fingers, and your toes. And then take your time slowly coming up. Maybe roll to one side before we find our seated position on the mat. Let's take one more breath together. Our arms can be long and let's reach them up to the sky. Inhaling as we look up gently, reaching our hands above us. Exhale, bringing them down and in front of us to heart center. Namaste.